Warzone players, do you want to win more Rebirth Island games? Well, if the answer is yes, make sure you stick around to the end of this video to see how. Hey, what's up guys? Elphazor here, and we're bringing you a special video. If you've watched my streams and my videos, you know that I'm constantly grinding Rebirth. As Rebirth Island has risen in popularity, more and more cracked players are playing Resurgence and it's becoming harder and harder to win games. Well, I decided to do something about it. I got a cracked player to help me win more games on Rebirth. Meet the only Val, Warzone player with a 3.3 KD, and I convinced him to help me win more games and get more kills on Rebirth Island. In this video, he spectates my video live and he even coaches me to a Rebirth win. So after that, I spectated him live and I watched him drop a 17 kill game. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button. And if you wanna see more Rebirth Island gameplay, subscribe to the channel. All right, enough with the talking, let's get into the video. Um, I think my biggest thing is like, I have, I have problems trying, like staying alive long enough. That makes sense. I mean, positioning, bro, like that's super important. You really do have to like, I'm not saying it's I'm not saying you're not IQ, but it's just like the IQ level to any game like person is huge. You have to know what to, to be able to push. You have to know like okay, hold on, let me hold off. You know what I'm saying? Right. And that's oh, all God. positioning. Right. Yeah, because I I feel like I don't I don't know when to properly do that, what time it is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sometimes yeah, I'm just exactly. like I just push. Right there, you crack that kid. Mm -hmm. He has zero shield, you know that, and you yep. have shield, regardless yep. of you push him where, regardless of where he is, you know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. so, I look at that point, you let him actually heal up, and that's where he's able to kill you. Right. Compared to you, he's nervous, he doesn't think you're going to push, you actually do fly at him, etc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Alright, let's go control if these guys want to go. It's going to be a gong show, though. <clears throat> Bro. Nice stuff right there. I mean, there's nothing else to do. Well, listen, off the rip like that, if you know mm -hmm. there's people up there and there's not a gun that you can automatically pick up, jump off. Just jump off, right? Okay. You're better off finding a gun under you than trying to get back up there and look for something. So now what <laughs> I would do is I would just lose straight ahead of you. Just you gotta find a gun. You're like all like you know the. Okay, there we go. Okay, these are valid. They, you, you can work with this. Pick up some ammo. How's the money looking? I can't see. Five, six. You got it. You somehow got to get all the money together. Start requesting for the money. So you, eh. He's upstairs. He's upstairs. He's up with you. Full send that kid that's up there with you. You see now on the UAV. So you see these guys are under you. Yep. One kid under you, the other two are at uh, living. Looks like they have no intention. Pick up your cash. That kid's something. You gotta finish that kid's something. Right on the stairs. You see him? There you go. So you know, look at those two kids on the UAV. You know one's under you? Yeah. What I always recommend is since you know people are here, you push them right away that you have that advantage of being able to see them on the UAV. There you go. Down this kid, start pushing that other kid right away. Whenever he shows up on the UAV. Yep. You see him behind you? Start pushing him right away. So now you get another ping just in case his boys spawn up. He's down. No, he's down. He's down. Oh, no. Somebody else shooting at me. All right, yeah, you guys start healing right away. Yep. But there is one on your left, though, like down there. And do you know the arrow system? Do you know how that goes or not? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. I he got it's... the. 
I thought it said up, that's why. Nice. No, you're good. So he, yeah, he got, he killed him. All right, so we know that there's guys up there. Where where would you push these guys from? Okay, personally, the way I play... Okay, so right now, I suggest you play as a team, but if it was me, I'd try to go straight top prison. And so my... Because you already know kids are going to be holding the loadout. If you get... If you if you go top prison, you know that, like, 110% of people are like, okay, buy this kid. Kill this kid. Wherever his teammates are, you go straight up there. Top prison, right? Start hit this, so hit this zip line. Oh, no. No, bro. Sorry, good movement, good movement. You're good, you're good. Start crawling left. So your boy, so, yep. Yeah, look, like those kids, look, like I hundred, like I already knew that they were gonna be up there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because especially yeah. the loadouts, they're gonna be looking at the loadouts regardless. So. Yeah, yeah. So if there's a way you get bottom jail or, or bottom prison right now, and then get up top, that's your best shot. Because your your teammates are just gonna keep getting held. Let's see what this one takes us on. Yeah, all four of you guys over here. It's not okay. I mean, so you guys do have zone, but okay. Look, myself, if you have loadout behind you safe, I would definitely push top prison. You have two loadouts that you can land back on. You, right. yeah. Beautiful, great beams. It's a good play. So right now the problem with your positioning is is like the kids top prison if they come down you're dead regardless so where you're pre-aiming i would definitely push where you're just pre-aiming or right here yeah. so you're good dude oh, yeah. and you can get up top of that ladder outside that's what i would do You have a stun to work with, don't forget. Yep. Oh no! Uh, right no. there, you have to commit to you have to commit to taking out yourself. But that was good movement. Yeah. Good movement. You I wide wide right there. If you don't wide right right there, you let your bullfuck come out. You kill this kid. Yeah, I just, I switched for some reason. I switched and it didn't go. Uh, I think it went all the way through because I was using the mouse wheel, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot. I said wide wide. You just saw that kid land by prison, right? Negative. Yeah, second that's shooting at you. The guy that's up top. So I would hug the wall right now. I would hug the wall and try to get as much info inside. Hug the wall as in, yeah, like up there. Good. Good. Played up. Always prioritize play plating as much as you can. I hate that you never know when to be able to shoot him. Yeah, he's definitely. Just... You could definitely fry him now. All right, so you guys literally have zone. Though. Everybody has to come to you. If you can get somewhere, don't even, don't, don't even worry about him. Don't, don't worry about him. If you can get somewhere, you can right go now, up, bro. Yeah, yeah. Head glitch just rock. Just head glitch just rock. Back here. Up that cliff. And hold these kids that are coming out from the middle. No, let your teammates worry about left. Yeah, you worry about anything that... Yeah, like right there. Anybody that comes up here, this is your, like, free kills. Yeah, up here. There you go. There you go. And listen, you gotta... Pry. You, you have no ammo, you gotta, you gotta prioritize on stun so your teammates can possibly do, do something. Go stun. Straight ahead where you think everybody's gonna be pushing from. Yep. One. You saw. You see that UAV? He's by the buy yeah, station. Yeah. Okay. Back to work. Movement here. Three, two, one. You know exactly where he is. Huh? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna kill his skin. You're gonna shoot his body. Just to get this. Nice. <laughs> get the, you get the ego. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice, yeah. bro. Alright, so I, I mean, you. that was a good game. Yeah. Like, wow, it's just the difference is I would be more aggressive myself, you know what right, I'm saying? Right, 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 right. You, you just, I'm comfortable doing that, though. Right. Yeah. I should have... I, yeah. I should have won that one on top. It's just, I didn't even see that guy pushing me. Mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> and then say, I just switched to the wrong gun. If goes down, you know, mm -hmm. like, that's what I'm saying. Always, since you're rocking stun, you use them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. what I always yeah. say. So, always important too, like, look how late I dropped. You always want to drop early. Well, because of this, I, I know it's the beginning of the game and I can only see one person. You know what I'm saying? If I saw two, I don't have enough information to just be able to comfortably chat it. Yeah, I got you. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna grab a UAV and then... So then why are you getting UAV at this point? It's just for information, right? Exactly. So you like right now, I don't know where nobody is. And the whole point is I'm just trying to rotate and get out of here. So I have loot. I have plates. Exactly. <laughs> so keep in mind on the UAV though I saw two people, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Like right there. So I knew somebody was there, but I'm not gonna get baited. Right. And first thing I did was buy another UAV. Yeah. Like the way my teammates are playing right now. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say, yeah, like you were pretty patient there, like like I think that's the difference. Like I knew that guy was there. But like I probably would have rushed in and you know, maybe I would have gotten killed, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, I, I knew exactly where he was too, but it was just the fact that like, hold on, let me take it a second because let me see exact, let me double, let me have a double look of where he is. Yeah, exactly. That's exactly why I knew where that kid was going to be. Yeah, yeah. I'm saying, so getting information, bro, is the most important thing. Right. So I saw that kid up top. Oh, there he goes. I really don't even need to push this to be honest with you. Yeah. My teammate's dead, so I'm going to run and potentially grab a UAV. Because I have no idea where anybody is. Survive is free. So do you prefer running the heartbeat sensor over stuns? Yes, I feel more comfortable that I can. I mean, it's not the point that like I'm not, I can't win a gunfight. It's, I just, it's just easier. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause there's rats, bro. Like rats play this all day, so right. I can easily read. It's easier to read people. You just, you want the information. Exactly. I mean, that's yo. That's literally all it is. With stuns, you can guess and throw where somebody is. Compared to exactly knowing where somebody is.
So now look, same thing. I'm trying to guess. I know somebody's here, but I don't know exactly where he is. I know gas is coming. I'm looking at how many people are up. My teammates, a nervous wreck. <laughs> oh, he's up. Oh, I didn't realize he was up. I thought uh, he was he was down. I thought it was disabled, but I guess he made it in time. So now, bro, I'm just trying to find people. You know, like. No way. I'm gonna eat gas here. Yeah, right there. There's nothing you're doing, like. All right. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you did, make sure you smash that like button and hit the subscribe button to see more Warzone and Rebirth Island gameplay. And make sure to give my boy the only Val some love. Links to his content and all his socials will be in the descriptions below. Hey, question for you. Do you want to see more videos where I get coached in Warzone? If you do, leave a comment below and let me know. Thanks again, friends. I appreciate you. And as always, we'll see you in the next video.